All right, here she is, y'all. Check her out. Comes with the trailer, aluminum uh, trailer. It's got brakes on it too. This guy works perfectly. This anchor right here, all electric. Check that out. I believe it's a four foot draft. By the way, this boat weighs about 10,000 pounds. Uh, this trailer is a triaxle trailer. You check the wood underneath. Looks real good, immaculate. Um, it could probably use, I don't need it, but uh, it can use a gel coat. You can see right there, uh, right there. That's from the trailer. It rubbing underneath right there. But that, that'll probably wash off. It's from the carpet. Um, that's about the only thing that's bad under the boat. It's not even a bad thing. Tires are near brand new on this uh, this trailer here. So the reason why I like this boat here is you can take it out of the water. That's the name. So. I leave that. I like that name. But that's that's up to you. Anyway, the reason why I like this this boat is it's an eight foot draft um, or beam, which is um, required by law to tow. Anything over you got to have a permit, so they're going to tax you on it. Um, and uh, it's completely you can take it out of the water, you can leave it in the water, whatever you want to do. Um, you can go offshore in it. As you can see, the stern drives look real good. Here's your ladder, foldable ladder. Uh, that's your uh, sonar or radar in the back, whichever one for for fish. Uh, just did the bellows underneath right here. I had the shop do it. I got the plug for the boat. It's out, but check that out. Everything looks real good. You got the trim tabs right here. They work really well. Um, I did take this boat out and it gets it. You get on plane and it'll run 40 plus. I got the, the uh, windows up right now. It's real nice up there. You get to sit on up there. Let me see if I can show you. Climb here on this trailer. Check that out. That trees need to blow that off the trees for a couple days. Got to it, but you can lay out up here, do whatever you need. It's all in good shape. So I mean a real good looking boat. Me, the reason why I'm selling it is I live uh I could only take this thing out in the summertime so this is about another two foot for this platform right here real cool you got a speaker control right there so if you're off the back you're diving or whatever you want to do led you can um change your music right here take my sandals off here all right so all this again these trees got to it a little bit but it'll wash right off. All this interior, or all this uh, vinyl here is in great shape. You got your door right here. I do have the tops for it, so it's got two tops for shade. They're just in my garage. All this interior is in great shape. The only spot I can see is where I messed it up right here. But it's not torn all the way through. Um, I was taking the, the top off here. And nicked it but it's not torn all the way through so this is this actual seat or it folds in there's a table that can go right here that's in the inside of here um, right here is your tool tool area again when you're chilling right here you got the table all that good stuff fire extinguisher 
you got your uh, plug in to charge the batteries right here so that's all equipped you don't gotta you know take your positive and your negative and charge them remotely that you can just plug it in with the 120 volt cord cell phone charger here another cell phone charger on that side um, underneath here you have the engine compartment give me a second here all right here we go here is the engine compartment again it's twin so if you're out there you're in the Gulf wherever you're at you're offshore and you got one engine that goes you still have another engine and these dual engines are known to run uh, faster on plane because they got two props instead of one than a single engine big block so this is the way to go it's got a holly uh, fuel pressure um, pump on there and it's got an Eldebrock carb let me see if I can show it to y'all give me a second here that right there is not all the way through so that wood is exposed but um, I'd say just prime paint and you're good that's from someone stepping on it but I've stepped on it <clears throat> it's fine there's your Eldebrock carb right there it's got dual Eldebrock carbs on it I mean the belts look good the alternator is good oil looks good in there everything's great I ran it myself LED right here. So you can light this thing up at the night. It looks great. Check this out. Also, you got an ice chest underneath here. You can put an ice chest in the back for fish. All right. Fish finder right here. All these beautiful gauges up here. Check that out. So you got your uh, your base control knob, your radio if you're going offshore. Here's your kicker sound system for the outside. That's your anchor right here. All right, so now we're going in the inside here. So I'm going to show you all the good, the bad, you know, everything. So it does have air conditioning. It's got a spot for a, uh, a generator in here. You just need to put the breaker. And it's got plenty of room in the back if you want a generator. If you want a battery backup unit with a converter, you can do that. Again, the, the, the radio in here is set, it can be separate from the outside radio. So if you're in here and you've got this all blocked off, you can uh, do your thing. Sink, uh, fridge right here. You got a stove, um, lots of space in here. So this table, you can do a bed right here. It's got two compartments for storage. You can do a bed right here or you can put that out onto a table. You got your uh, extra mattresses right here for your bed. Look at that I mean the value on this thing's incredible TV air conditioning vent storage space up there bathroom right here sink Some more storage space right there some drawers now this guy uh probably needs to get shampooed i'd recommend shampooing it before you take it out if you're doing a long trip if you're not who cares 
There's that table for the back I was talking to you guys about for the back on the deck. Air conditioning unit, and there's your uh, your JBL subwoofer system right there. This thing bumps. So this is the secondary bed for your kids or whatnot. So it does have shore power plug-in. Um, so if you got a boat slip, you want to live in it, you can live in it. And uh, that is it, y'all. That's the inside here. You know, just enough for whatever you need. You can take it out, uh, uh, you know. If you don't want to pay for a boat slip, you don't have to. That's why I got this boat. That's why I wanted it anyway, but it's not going to work for my, my area. So my, my loss, your gain. I just want it out. I'm going to be moving here. You got your fuel right here on this side. Push and pull holders. Your water. Water right here. Waste. You got your horns, your antennas right here. Check that out. I mean, the trailer alone... You can look at you can look and see how much this trailer costs alone on this trailer. Again, it comes with the trailer. That is it, y'all. I hope you guys liked it. Look forward to showing it to you in person.